Good day to you. This is Mr. Mulenga, your teacher of geography. So today I want us to discuss mining in Zambia. And before we go into details, I want us to look at some of the objectives that I expect us to achieve by the end of the lesson. So by the end of the lesson, I expect you to describe the major minerals mined in Zambia, discuss the impact of mining on the environment, the issues of pollution on human health, discuss the importance of mining. Now, this is very, very important. So by the end of the lesson, I expect you to be able to, you know, achieve these objectives. So we're gonna look at some of the major minerals mined in in Zambia. Now, we have copper, coal, manganese, cobalt, lead, zinc, limestone, gold, emeralds. Now, these are precious minerals. Aquamarine, the diamond, and so on. So we're going to begin with copper as the major mineral that is mined in Zambia. So now, Zambia is the second largest producer of copper after the Democratic Republic of Congo in Africa and seventh in the world. In the past, Zambia was actually the, the largest producer of copper in the entire world, just after, you know, Chile. But because there is now lower production of copper, Zambia lies second in Africa after DRC and seventh in the world. Now, this is how copper looks like, in case you're wondering. And the uses of copper include making electric wires, making water pipes, making car radiators, making bullets, and the like. So these are, you know, copper wires, which have been made from copper. Let me take you straight into cobalt. Now, cobalt is another mineral that you are able to abundantly find in Zambia. Cobalt is found in the Earth's crust only in a chemically combined form, save for small deposits found in alloys of, nat of natural you know, metallic iron. So usually when you talk of cobalt, it is a byproduct of other, you know, of other minerals as well. It is produced by reductive smelting. It is hard, lustrous, silver, gray metal. It is also obtained as a byproduct of a number, you know, of minerals. Just like I said, it is used to, to make cutting tools, dyes, and magnets. Cobalt produces a bright blue color that is used in glass and ceramics. So this is how cobalt looks like. This is a cobalt ore. There you go. That's how cobalt looks like. This is a cobalt ore. And this is how it looks like when it is crushed and processed. Coal. Now, coal, mostly you, you find it in the southern part of Zambia, specifically Mamba. That's where we have the largest, you know, production of coal in Zambia. And coal is a combustible black or brownish, you know, black sedimentary rock. It is used to generate heat and electricity. So as you're able to see, this is how coal look like, looks like, and it is used to generate heat. So when you burn coal, it produces massive heat that is used for so many things. So that's how coal looks like. Lead. Now, the mine where lead was being mined in Zambia was found in Kawe, but it has now been closed. 
at first mining was done using open cast mining method and the let uh, and and later on it was done using underground mining method the mine was closed in 1994 due to depletion of the ores lead is used for making plates of electric storage batteries lead is used as protective shield against radiation lead is also used in covering cables in white lead acid for paints bullets and for roofing materials. Lead is used as an alloy as well. So that's how lead looks like. This is how lead looks like. Just like that. Now, zinc. Zinc is soft white metal which resists fats and is malleable. Now, zinc is used in alloys of brass, an example of a place where you find zinc mine is in Chiwombo district, central province of Zambia. So in Chiwombo, you're able to find, you know, some large quantities of zinc in the earth's crust. So that's how zinc looks like. There you go. This is zinc. Manganese. Now, manganese is a pinkish you know, grayish, chemically active mineral or element. It is a hard metal and very, very brittle. It is hard to melt. Manganese is reactive when pure and as a powder, it will burn in oxygen. It reacts with water. It, it, it rusts like iron and dissolves in dilute acids. Now, it is used as an alloy and as a cleaner in extracting minerals. So this is how zinc, or I beg your pardon, this is how manganese looks like. So there you go. So manganese looks like this. This is how manganese looks like. So if you go to Luapula province, you will find quite a lot of manganese. Limestone. Now, limestone is a white mineral used in manufacturing of cement. Large deposits are found around Lusaka and in the southern part of central province. That's where you find, uh, you know, limestone in abundance. So, limestone and clay are crushed together, mixed with water, and then bent in a large oven. A mineral called gypsum is added and the mixture is crushed to fine powder. So the powder is cement, which is used in the building industry. So limestone is very, very important. Very, very important, especially in construction. So this is how limestone looks like limestone so this is an area predominantly you know limestone now gold is one of the minerals zambia currently is exploiting so it's been exploited this is a mineral which is found in different parts of the country Eastern province, some parts of central province, Copper Belt province, northwestern province. So it is in several areas, but currently it is being, you know, currently it is being uh, exploited in northwestern province. Now it is a bright, slightly orange or yellowish, dense, soft, malleable, and ductile metal in a pure form. So gold is highly reflective of heat and light. Gold is prized for its beauty. So it's quite beautiful. It is used, you know, for so many things to make jewelry like, you know, like chains, bracelets, and other, you know, materials. So that's how gold looks like. 
Now, we have other precious minerals, such as diamond, which is now exploited in, you know, Western province, emeralds, we have Kajam mine just within Copper Belt. We have aquamarine in Eastern province. So these are some precious minerals which are found in Zambia. And some of them are even yet to be exploited more like diamond. Now, what is the importance of mining in Zambia? Now, this is very important. I've seen, you know, a couple of questions in examination past papers about the importance of mining to Zambia. Now, mining creates employment to most Zambians. So if you live on the copper boat, out of five people, you're probably going to meet one miner. So there are so many um there are so many people who are employed in the mining sector it encourages tourism and investment it boosts the economy of zambia it brings foreign exchange to the country copper and cobalt exports contribute to 75 percent of zambia's export earnings so that's huge it improves the standards of living of people in a country. It also leads to improvement of infrastructure, such as roads, houses, hospitals, and so on. There is what we call social responsibility by these, you know, mines. So mining firms do what we call social responsibility. So an area where there is a mine, you expect there to be social and economic development spearheaded by the mine. Now, in as much as mining has vast importance, it also has some negative effects on the environment. Now, the impact of mining on, on the environment is quite evident. And one of the major impacts on the environment by mining is land degradation. Now, when we say land degradation, it means quite of the land declines. The land is destroyed by the mine. Displacement of people and animals where mines are open. So what this simply means is when there is a mine that has been opened, the people are in that area, they are going to be moved from there and relocate to another area. So people will relocate to a new place and allow mining operations to take place. And not only human beings do relocate, but also animals. For example, the debate on you know, the, 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 the lower Zambezi, where a mine was you know, scheduled to be in full operation, most of the people were against that because of not wanting to lose animals or biodiversity. So this is one of the impacts of mining on, on the environment, displacement of people and animals where mines are open. Deforestation, clearing of land before mining starts and where mine dumps are. So there is so much you know, deforestation, loss of biodiversity. Some animals and trees species become extinct when large areas are cleared. So when you are clearing the land, you're also chasing away animals. And animals just survive in certain environment. When they go elsewhere, they fail to survive. They completely go into extinction. Pollution is one of the major impacts on the environment caused by mining. Now, we're looking at pollution of the soil and the ground due to a high concentration of toxic chemicals for mines. So you will discover that sometimes the mines may even release some toxic, you know, substances in rivers, like the case of the Kafue River. 
which has been polluted so many times by the mining companies on the copper belt. Now, air and noise pollution, this probably you're looking at heavy equipment used in mining, especially in open pit mining, causing or, or causes noise pollution as well as air pollution. There was a time I I visited Mufulira. I think that was somewhere around 20, 2009. When I was there, I went to a place known as Kantanshi. Now, this place is ju just on, on, on the other side, across the road, there is a mine, and this is Mopani Copper Mine. Now, Mopani Copper Mine uses heavy equipment, and it makes a lot of noise. And the house where I went to had, you know, and, uh, was within rather close proximity to the mine. We were, I, I, I actually failed to sleep the first day because of the noise that was coming from the mine. Not only that, even the, the, during the day, they release what is commonly known as center by the local people. But scientifically, we call it sulfur dioxide. Now, when this sulfur dioxide is released into the the an open space or into the atmosphere, it pollutes the environment and you can barely breathe if you are there for the first time. So this is one of the evident and practical, you know, impacts of mining on on the environment. So as you're able to see, this these fumes are going directly into the the atmosphere, causing air pollution. So this is a very bad impact. Now what are the effects of pollution on health? Now, a lot of people have suffered to, you know, pollution caused by mining. Sulfur dioxide, like I earlier talked about, in the air around mines can get into the lungs and cause respiratory diseases. People who are asthmatic can barely live in such areas. Lead and arsenic pollution causes infertility and miscarriages in pregnant women, skin problems, and decreases immunity. So these are very bad effects that pollution causes on human health. So these are some of the, the effects. Now, let me take you straight into the examination questions. Uh, so we're gonna. This is an extract from the 2015 uh, paper two. So this is geography. Now, so we're going to focus on question two, which says, with reference to mining in Zambia, name two towns where copper is mined on the copper belt. So we have Chingola, Kitwe, Mfulira and so on. So you can just pick any of those. We are now on B. Describe the methods of mining used in Northwestern province. Now, Northwestern province is predominantly, you know, you know, predominantly practices um, open pit mining, open cast mining. So we looked at open cast mining in our previous lesson. And uh, this is where you, you, you conduct mining or you extract minerals from the earth, and those minerals must be very close to the earth surface. When you talk of minerals which are deep underground, you cannot do open cast mining. So in Northwestern province, the most dominant one is the open cast mining or open pit mining, where minerals which are very close to the earth surface, sometimes just on the earth surface, uh, extracted. Now, we should get to see which says explain the effects of mining industry on the environment in northwestern province. This is basically what we from talking about. So, one of the effects of mining industry on the environment in northwestern province is deforestation. So, the the area where mines are set up today or currently in the northwestern province, they were once uh endowed with vegetation but now there there's no vegetation so deforestation is one of the effects then the other effect is displacement of people so people were living in those areas where 
the minds are now have been displaced and taken elsewhere, including the wildlife, displacement of animals. That's also another effect of mining on the environment. Not forgetting one of the major effects um, on the environment, which is pollution. There is massive pollution, both land pollution and air pollution, including noise pollution. People live near to these mines. They do experience a lot of noise pollution. So those are some of the effects of the mining industry on the environment in northwestern province. Another question we can focus on is question two here, which says, state the importance of mining to the social and economic development of northwestern province. Now, those people who, who once went to northwestern province just about 10 years ago, if they were to go back there today, they will probably be able to see some development. So mining is an evident indicator in an area that development will take place. One, mining creates employment. So local people are employed. The other aspect that you can talk about is the social response, the social economic responsibility that comes from the mines where they construct roads. So there is infrastructural development, better roads so that there's better transportation of mining products. So the people benefit because they are good roads now. Apart from that, you also you 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 also look at um creation of hospitals and schools so these mines have set up hospitals and schools working together with with um uh, with the government not only that even the growth of the market because there is a higher purchasing power there are more people getting employed even the market for products tend to be good because there are people to buy. So you discover that there are so many you know, benefits that come with mining to an area. So this is what Northwestern province is experiencing, especially places like, uh, like Solwezi. Explain the effects of coal mining on the environment in Mamba. Now, this is exactly what we from talking about on the effect of uh, mining on 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 the environment in northwestern province where we talked of pollution where we talked of people uh and the displacement of wildlife uh deforestation cutting down of trees and so on so these questions come in the exam and you must be able to take keen interest in you know answering such questions so we've come to the end of the lesson Thank you for your time. Have a lovely day.